Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, I'm Ombra and today we're gonna explore together all the news we got in the PBE of Rise to War. In this video I will not give you my opinion about every single change but I'm gonna listing and explain them for allow everyone to form their own opinion about every single change we got in this PBE. The change and the innovation are a lot but the majority of that are about commanders and their skill. The first change I wanna talking about is the lowering in terms of respect needed for unlock the skill of the commanders. Now the third skill and the first skill of the command are not any more respect 3 and respect 5 but they are respect 2 and respect 4 that make the commander usable earlier and uh, with less resource and that is a very good update for free to play and new player in addition also the point you gain each time you increase the respect of the commander are changed there's not anymore a bonus for the promotion for the ascension now each level of respect between 1 and 15 give you 3 points instead of 2 that increase a lot uh, your pool of skill point and that give you a possibility at respect 10 level 50 to max 3 skill completely. With the old system for max 3 skill you will need zenith 6 and that is a lot more expensive than just respect 10. This change is also a lot in favor of free to play, maybe not free to play but low spender because the 99% of the commander just need 3 skill maxed and now you are able to do that at respect 10 instead of zenith 6. The last change in terms of skill point is the maximum amount of skill point previously was 99 skill point now you're gonna have 110 so if you are an ultra kraken and you want to bring your commander to zenith 15 now you can have three skill max and one skill at five point for unlock the first title that is a change that impact only one percent of the player of course but is something for the high high spender the second important change of this pv is about the skills of the commanders the majority of the skill that have a buff or debuff for troop now scale with command that increase a bit the the utility of the commander that buff the troops of course this skill have a different scaling so for know that i suggest you to go on my spreadsheet where i list all the skill of the pb with a new scaling if you want to see the spreadsheet you can find it in my discord under the section tool the link of my discord is in the description of the video and the second big change about the skill is that now all the skill that give you plus five attack on the title now give five percent of increasing damage for your troop that make a lot of difference because the damage Damage is stronger than attack, a lot stronger. Also some skill like Morgul Lieutenant of Godmok now give 15% damage for your troop and not plus attack and plus defense, that is a lot stronger. And also scale with command, there's a lot of skill like that with minor update and some change but we don't gonna explore them now, this video is about all the change and not all the skill, for make a video about the skill I'm gonna need more time for testing, for researching but for sure I'm gonna cover it in the future days. Another important change is about the passive troop damage of the commander. Now all the commander increase the damage dealt of the troop at respect 5 by 5%, at respect 7 by 10% and at respect 9 by 50%. That of course increase the effectiveness of the troop damage, I don't know if it's enough, we need to test that but it's for sure a step in the right way. After respect 9 you don't get any increase in terms of troop damage so also this change is a lot low spender friendly cause you don't need spend a million for reach zenith 1 for have this bonus max just respect 9 and that is a goal that a lot of player can achieve the next change is probably the most famous change of this pb it's about sauron and the specific of the skill the deceiver so basically they choose that the madness of sauron don't apply anymore in pre-battle phase but apply on round one that means it's not possible anymore stall buff from gandalf the white or from all the other commander because the Madness don't gonna active till the round one. You gonna apply of course the damage increasing on the pre-battle phase but the madness gonna proc only on round one. That is a big change of course for a lot of player because a lot of people thinks that is the main skill of Sauron, in my opinion is not so it's not a big change but for sure gonna impact the meta so of course this is an air for Sauron because they remove a possibility for them but they increase the potential of the enemy because now the enemy scale with focus so you can 
can reach about 24% stat reduction with that and for me it's a good way for play Sauron. Another change I want to talking about is about the fellowship. Now the member you can have on your fellowship is 200, that's double the number of players you can have inside the warband. You basically can have an entire faction inside your fellowship now and that makes a lot easier in my opinion to coordinate attack. You can have everyone inside one fellowship and for me overall it's a good change. The last thing I want to talking about is about the HP and the damage of the troop. They change it a bit, we are still listing all the troop for make a comparison between them and see if there's a shift on the meta of what troop you have to use. I'm gonna for sure make a spreadsheet about that and probably I'm gonna follow up with a video dedicated to the troop. For now that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you like it just smash like on that and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let me know in the comment if you discovered something I didn't notice on the PBE. I'm really interested to discover every single change and talk about that. Like always I wanna remember you if you wanna support my channel I have an affiliated link with the game that allow you to buy gems from the official site of the game and if you choose to use my link the devs gonna recognize me a little commission of what you spend and you're gonna support directly my channel. You're gonna find the link in the description of the video and also in the first comment. Again thank you for following me and see you in the next. Woo!